I'm making a sandwich because we're going on a trip. Uh, where are we going? Mm. We're going into London again to see a photograph exhibition. Of? It's David Bowie. Ooh. So, I've never even asked you before, are you actually even a fan of David Bowie? Yes, I definitely am. I love David Bowie. Yeah? Like why? Why? Which, which era? I don't know about eras and stuff. I just don't like you? his songs. I know the songs that I know. No. I mean, it's a lovely day and we're going to somewhere called Fitzrovia, which sounds very nice. I don't know exactly where it is. And it's in a lovely chapel, which used to be part of the Middlesex Hospital. Wow. David Bowie's always been there in my life, I feel. It, like, I grew up in the 70s and uh, he was always on the telly because at that point it was Top of the Pops. My brother loved him, had all the records so I could hear the records. That's why I don't know what songs on what album or anything like that. And I suppose I took him for granted, like many things. Um, and when I got older, I realised what a genius he is. It's, I, it's very hard to name my favourite song, but you know, up there has to be Space Oddity and uh, Ashes to Ashes. Uh, the one about the girl going to the pictures, I love that one. Slip, slip my mind, it's Life on Mars. But also I love uh, Signet Committee and that one about the woman who, who shoplifts, the old woman who shoplifts, but then God forgives her. God, God knows I'm good. And the amazing five years. So I've got some quick fire questions for quick you. Quick fire? This is a nice street by the way, we're just off yeah, well, that's a nice pull Tottenham there, Court Road. So quick fire questions, uh, Bowie or Bowie? David Bowie. Mm, I'm, I'm a Bowie. Um, best yeah, album? Posh. Well the best album for me, Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars. Okay and lastly, just quick fire, uh, favourite song? Ooh. Uh, Is it too hard? It's probably a bit too hard. Alright then, favourite outfit? I don't like any of his outfits. <laughs> right, here we are, we finally found it. The Fitzrovia Chapel. Yeah, I mean it's quite strange because it's a really old building and it's surrounded by all these new flats. Um, but we, it was really nice walking through Fitzrovia because I didn't realise people actually live round here. So it's just behind Tottenham Court Road, but there's all these really lovely old flats and now there's these new flats that, as often is the case, no one seems to actually live here. There's no sign of life. But I'm very excited to go in and uh, see these pictures and it's been here now makes me realise, uh, you know, how much I adore David Bowie. And it reminds me that I did cry when he died, which I don't normally when celebs die, but... He was one of them. It's so gorgeous. I love that. It's so beautiful. It's interesting, but it's a pity uh, you can't see his face. Gorge again. So, Johnny, what do you reckon? I like this one. I've got a shaver like that. It's the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you bought me it for Christmas, it's the pit bull. When we were talking about favourite outfit, I, I was going to describe the suits he wore, so this is a perfect example. That's, for, that's Man at CNA, I think, that you got that. <laughs> But he's very stylish I and mean, he's wearing that same suit in all the pictures but that's because all the pictures were taken on the same day I do believe he does like caressing that microphone I envy the microphone oops glad it wasn't me okay. This is one of my favourite Bowie haircuts. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more uh, conservative. It is, isn't it? Nice. 
So we've just come out of the exhibition. What did you think to that? I thought it was really lovely. I, it surpassed my expect expectations. The photos, he looked just lovely and really handsome and stylish as he was. And you could see his eyes, different colors. And you know, the building it was in, it was insurpassable. Insurpassable? Yeah, it was just perfect. And 10 out of 10 you're saying? There people there either, it was fine. Yeah, I didn't feel like crowded. I'll tell you something, I'm glad we didn't have to pay to get in there. Oh. And some of them... Oh, I did get something though, I bought a postcard. It's a pound. Why didn't you buy one, one of the prints? Some of them were only £3,000. <laughs> I'm happy with this. Oh. Uh, how did you like it? I thought it was very, very good. Uh, the thing is, I all week I was thinking uh, the photos by Kevin Davis, and that name kept ringing a bell. I thought, why do I know that name? And it turns out, now, I don't want to come across as a, a name dropper, because as you know, we did the Gibson <laughs> thing last week, and I'd worked with that photographer. You had, it's show. almost as if we only go to things where well, the just photographers it turns photograph out, you naked. I know, Kevin Davis. Oh. Uh, I used to go out with a girl called Kim, who was a fashion designer. Uh, when we split up, her next boyfriend... <laughs> Kevin Davis. So I did get to know him. He was all right. He uh, too much arty, not enough farty for me. But <laughs> he was a very nice bloke. Anyway, I got a call off Kim because she was she used to make rubber clothes. She <laughs> said we want to do a a photo shoot, but we're looking for a real man. And I thought, she said, but not you. We want <laughs> somebody who's good looking. Do you know anybody? And I said, of course I do. So I made a call up north to a friend called David Smith. Got him to come down for the photo shoot, and I went along because I didn't want him to kill anybody. And uh, these are the photos, some oh of the photos. Oh, my God. You've prepared this, haven't you? Uh, that's David Smith in his is old rubber. Is that him? Yeah. Oh. These, yeah. Are, these are actual... What uh, year was this? Well, it was being the 80s. Yeah, maybe. It's no, quite... it was after 90s. 90, <laughs> maybe it's uh, dated. It'll be 93, <laughs> I think, these would be. Uh, another one of David Smith. Oh. He was oh. a beast, beast of a man. All taken... By uh, it was definitely at Kevin Davis's studio. I think he was there. Whether he pressed a shutter or not, or it was Kim, I don't know. But look at this one. Look at that hunk. Oh, uh, yeah. I recognise. I love that. that hat, but I don't know. That hat disappeared. I oh, hang on, you're about... wearing it. No, it's a different one. That was a, that was a beautiful one back in that... I see you your know... chest hair was very dark in those very days. Very dark. Whereas I didn't. now it's, it's white. Yeah, but it? do you know what I like about this picture? No. These were the days when I could stick tuck a shirt inside the trousers without looking like a light bulb. So that's my connection to the photographer of the Dav David mm, Bowie. Very good. Two interesting facts, little known facts about David Bowie. One, he didn't like tea, like me. Two, his very first TV appearance, he wasn't on singing. I think he was on like the Today programme or Tonight, and I've had to write this down. He was on as the spokesperson for the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men <laughs> back in the 60s. Really? He was, yeah. This put me off him a bit knowing he didn't like tea, but OK. <laughs> we've just come from the David Bowie exhibition and we've stumbled upon this fantastic place. It's a, mu it's a music art gallery and it looks like it's got some very interesting stuff in which is right up my alley. <laughs> What's it called? The Muforia Music Art Gallery. So we're going to go in and have a look. Already I've seen a fantastic piece. Piece? It's, it's a piece. <laughs> it's a fantastic piece. I'd like that, definitely. Um, I like this piece. Sorry I keep saying peace, but there's blood. Yeah, can you stop that? <laughs> it's what not about? all my cup of tea, but I do like these badges. The badges are great. I like the two-tone stuff, because that reminds me of my teens, and I like the Clash ones, all of them. Yeah, so if I had to have one, I would have probably this fella. Here's another one of you. Yeah, I used to love Adam that. I made some of these myself, uh, but I used T-Rex sleeves because they're absolutely beautiful. But I didn't charge, I wouldn't charge 3,000 quid <laughs> for mine. Yeah, really nice day. What's been your highlight? 
actually the exhibition for a change, but also walking around these back parts of uh, so Oxford Street and uh, Charing Cross Road and seeing how lovely it is, the end Soho, on a Sunday when it's not too busy. And I had a nice coffee, didn't I, in uh, Soho, which was very trendy. Yeah. I felt quite yeah, trendy. How was the day for you? It was very good, actually. I've enjoyed it. The weather's been not quite nice, a little bit nippy. But my highlight was the uh, surprising pop art music. Uh, what's it called? I recorded it so for a gallery. A gallery, I it's think. It's a gallery. Another highlight of my day, I discovered these from McVitie. McVitty tartlets. Mm. <laughs>